AutoTune Pro X is the 25-year milestone update to AutoTune Pro, the flagship plugin and namesake for professional tuning software. This new version is packed with new features, so let's dive right in. Apple Silicon Native Support is now fully implemented, as is full compatibility with the latest versions of Mac and Windows operating systems. There's a redesigned, scalable user interface for super sharp graphics at any size. You can customize the plugin and configure it how you want. There's undo and redo inside the plugin, which corresponds to key commands if your host supports it and a new mix knob that blends wet and dry signals for cool effects. There's a new presets manager with a roll the dice randomized selection button and a favorite system to mark preferred presets. Speaking of presets, several third parties and artists have contributed patches to Autotune Pro X, so you'll never run out of ideas or inspiration points. A new line display shows all of the notes contained in a selected input type and new machine learning algorithms can automatically set input type for glitch-free operation. Graph mode improvements include the option to automatically generate node objects upon pitch loading, new zooming shortcuts, and the ability for zooming to be controlled from a mouse or trackpad using common key modifiers, accommodating modern computer workflows. Other graph mode features include the ability to start Autotune directly in graph mode, the preference to show or hide the audio waveform, and the ability to show a single or dual waveform in the time base area. There's a new feature that allows you to access any currently instantiated Autotune Pro plugin from within the current user interface, allowing fast edits between channels without cluttering up your screen. You'll also notice tool alterations for cutting and pasting data and other graph mode improvements. Finally, there's expanded tooltip content, custom naming and location options for time-based effect folders, new light and dark modes, and an in-plugin bypass control. There've been improvements under the hood too, with code compatibility for next generation hardware and software, but the algorithm and sound of Autotune is the same as before. Feel free to install and replace previous versions of Autotune without worrying about audio changes in existing sessions. Now, let's take a few minutes and go over the main operating parameters of the new Autotune Pro X. Key, scale, and input type are the first controls to set whether you use auto or graph mode. These settings tell Autotune how to interpret pitch data and set boundaries for correction. The new Learn feature now automatically takes care of input type. Check it out. If you use Auto Key to set your key and scale, you now have an automatic way to set the three most crucial parameters of Autotune for fast configuration and use. You can always set these controls manually, especially if you want to use an alternate scale or a custom scale. Tracking adjusts the algorithm to accommodate for extra noisy or breathy signals. A setting of 50 works almost every time if the input signal is set correctly, but if there are glitches or octave shifts in corrected audio, tracking adjustments will certainly solve the issue. If you've been using Autotune for a while, you likely already know about retune speed. It's simply the time it takes in milliseconds for pitch to move from where it is in real life to where it should be. Set it to zero for immediate results like the famous Autotune effect, and set it to 40, 50, or even 60 for subtle tuning and natural outcomes. FlexTune and Humanize are controls that relax tuning parameters for more natural results. Humanize relaxes tuning speed when it senses long notes so it won't sound so static and mechanical through the note, and FlexTune creates an ignore area between half steps so scoots and dips don't get tuned so tightly. The center display, like before, shows the amount of correction applied. You can watch it push a flat note up or tune a sharp note back down to the appropriate pitch following key and scale settings. Other controls that are important to know about are the algorithm choice and format setting. 
The original auto-tune algorithm is transparent enough until extreme settings are applied. And if you think back to 1996 and 1997, we didn't yet understand that extreme settings would be used artistically, but producers had other ideas, and the sound of auto-tune at extreme settings became a recognizable sound all its own. Later, there were those who wished for a cleaner sound when tight tuning was required, and when computers got fast enough, Autotune Evo was released as version 6 to solve that problem. As the story goes, those who wanted the old sound stayed with version 5 and solidified the effect in music using the old algorithm. The good news is both algorithms are implemented in modern versions. Classic for the code used through Autotune version 5, which is so prevalent as the Autotune effect, and modern for a cleaner, more natural sound, especially at extreme settings. Now, there are no rules on which to use for a particular input signal. Sometimes classic sounds cool, and sometimes I use modern to create a vibe. Technically, the modern algorithm uses more sophisticated code that makes a vocal cleaner, but that may not make it cooler. Listen and decide, then enjoy your choice. Formats are resonances in the vocal trunk that mostly stay the same as pitch moves up and down. In other words, the pitch frequencies and resonant frequencies are distinct from one another in the throat and other vibrating chambers. The format section contains powerful DSP to keep these resonances intact as pitch is changed. A difficult task and CPU intensive, but modern computers handle it fine. I always use it for the most natural results. The knob under the format switch tunes these resonances up or down. In previous versions, this was labeled throat because it controls the length of a model throat, but in reality, it's changing the resonant frequencies of the model format, so it's redone here according to that fact. Feel free to change this setting for all kinds of effects. Combine format with the transpose control for modern vocal doubling an octave up or an octave down. Once you've got an understanding of all these controls, you can stay in auto mode or move to graph mode for refined editing. Several developments have made graph mode much easier to navigate, and you should definitely take a look. First, import pitch data into the plugin. Several methods are available depending on your host. When pitch acquisition is complete, Autotune automatically generates node objects and places them on the timeline according to the key and scale indicated. From here, you can simply listen and watch as Autotune applies correction, stopping at points along the way to edit. This might be all you need to do for a perfect next-level vocal. If more editing is required, you can adjust retune speed on the note object or get rid of that note object altogether and apply your own move with a line or a curve, adjusting retune speed on each and every segment created. Another technique is to let the vocal go untuned for a bit, then grab it midway, preserving the natural turns and moves of an artist as they sing. When you're done editing, Autotune plays it back perfectly every time. Sometimes I commit or freeze this for long-term permanence or further editing, but you don't have to. Cutting and pasting Autotune data has been simplified with a new floating tool window. Simply select Copy, hit paste, and click on your desired position, dragging it into place with precision. Graph mode goes as deep as you want it to, but it never forces you to work in a certain way. For example, the default preference is set to auto-generate note objects, but you can change that and import auto mode settings or start with a blank slate for 100% hand-drawn custom shapes. And that's the way I use graph mode, and the results are indistinguishable from reality when done right. The last window to look at is the Advanced tab in Auto Mode. This brings up two choices, the Vibrato tab and the Custom Scale tab. Autotune allows you to create realistic vibrato with several controls, including waveform shape and onset rate. It also allows you to adjust whether it affects the format resonances, the pitch, or both. The Scale tab is for custom scales in auto mode, useful for blues tracks or other music that uses modes or custom intervals. Major and minor presets are available for starting points, and Set All clears the keyboard. You can set or clear individually, of course, allowing for ninths but not seconds, for example, or remove intervals from every octave. Latch Mode allows momentary operation for automation, 
and ignore vibrato sets the tracking algorithm accordingly to minimize vibrato note shifts while correcting. Furthermore, you can connect a MIDI keyboard and control notes in real time as you play. Lastly, these parameters and others can be automated for custom effects as long as your host allows it. So that's AutoTune Pro X. Thanks for watching.